welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in Mel versus Terra, also known as Sol, from the Discord server in the underused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Sol. So they're going to lead off with Gengar as I led off with my Ninetales. Not the best lead in the world, but not the worst as well. Ninetales can handle Gengar pretty, you know, not, not well, but like... It can definitely handle Gengar to an extent. So I'm going to go for a Fire Blast right off the bat. Just to get some damage off on something. They do go for the Toxic Spike. Which is interesting. And that's going to definitely hinder us later in the game. If we don't get rid of them. So we go for the Fire Blast in the Sun. It should definitely do a lot to the Gengar. It takes them right down to their Sash. Which is amazing. And there is a chance we get the Burn as well. Which is always nice. We don't I'm afraid. And we don't get Cursed Bodied as well. Which is great. So now I'm going to go for a Solar Beam. Just because obviously they probably go for another layer of toxic spikes or a sludge bomb and i don't want to miss the fire blast here so they do get the poison which is unfortunate but it's it's fine at the same time and um, as we go for that solar beam just to get the extra just just to make sure i hit to be fair because fire blast will no doubt miss when they've got one hp left so um solar beam comes through it also helps if they go into flygon for example to take fire blast and um, definitely that's an opportunity for them so gengar goes down which is great after doing some severe damage to my nine tails so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. In comes Free Spirit, which is going to be what? The Latios. So Latios does come in. It's going to drop a Draco more than likely. I'm a bit scared of Latios, to be honest with you. Um, we do have the Scizor, of course, which can come in and take a hit. Do we do it, though? I think we do. I, th I think we go Scizor, because Scizor's not really bothered about the Toxic Spikes anyway, so that's fine. I um, don't mind switching into Scizor. As, uh, there we go. Crimsonite's going to come in, like so. And they more than likely go for... They, I thought they'd go for a flip turn, but they drop a Draco straight up, which does a nice, decent bit of damage to my Scizor. Not enough to cry about, like, but um, damage nonetheless. As they are a Jet Pack, which is a really cool strat. That is really cool, that is. Draco and Dip. <laughs> so they're going to go into Skeledurge, which is a very good switch. Obviously, we don't want to stay in here against this Skeledurge with our Scizor, because we are going to get roasted if we do. Uh, roasted to an absolute crisp. So let's go ahead and switch out. I'm, I'm leaning towards the Como, just because here on the special side, all that stuff. Also leaning towards the Charizard, if they're going to go for a Torch Song, for example. Um, but I kind of mainly want to go into our Ninetales. And the reason being is that I want to take a Torch Song and then Encore them into it, so that we can then get the Charizard in and go for some Scorching Sand stuff. That's the kind of the, the, the game plan that I've got going on here, so... We'll go into Nine Tails. I know the sun will wear off in a few more turns, but we need enough sun turns to do something with the Charizard, you know. So they go for that Torch Song, which is as expected. Doesn't get the oh, it gets enough to poison. I didn't think it'd do that much damage. I know it's in the sunlight, but I didn't think it'd do that much damage. Oh well, Nine Tails goes down. That's fine. We can handle that no problem. So Nine Tails going down. The Skeledurge is here. Um, it's very threatening. <laughs> very threatening. So let's go Charizard. Good old the OG, the OG dragon, which isn't a dragon type. We go Charizard. He's, he's narrowly avoiding those toxic spikes by flying in the air, and we'll go for a Scorching Sands because it should do a decent chunk of damage to the Skeledurge in the Sun. I think it'll do over half at least. So they withdraw the Skeledurge. They don't want to get hit by that Scorching Sand. They probably go into Flygon if I had to guess. Free Spirit, the Latios, also a good switch. It can take any hit if we have to throw at it. To be fair, um, Scorching Sands is obviously not going to affect a levitating Pokemon. Um, so we, they don't have to worry about that. Now they get a free Draco Meteor off from whatever they want again. Which is probably going to have to be Scizor once again. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. They've used their Eject Pack up. So if they go for a Draco here then we are still fine. So we'll go into our good old Scizor real quick. Like so. And then they go for a Flip Turn. Which isn't going to do much damage in the, in the sun especially. Um, but it does mean they get a free switch back into that Skeledurge. And Skeledurge is going to be a bit of a bane of our existence to be honest with you. There's the Skeledurge coming in, so Skeledurge is a threat, no doubt about that. Um, we need it to Terra, I'm assuming it's Terra Fairy, if we can Terra it, then Scizor does go pretty hard against that team, um, a little bit. So I'm wondering what to do here, I'm leaning towards the Como, I am leaning towards the Como, um, but they are unaware, so we know that the Throat Spray boost isn't going to help us. It's not going to help us at all really, so I guess we just go straight back into Charizard, there's no real reason not to. So we'll go Charizard real quick, like so. There we go, Jalapeno comes in. And uh, this time we're going to do something a little bit different. So they go for a Torch Song. Now I'm assuming they're going to switch out here. I'm assuming they're going to switch out here. 
We get the solar power, unfortunately. The, I'm surprised the solar power is even there. I'm going to go for the air slash because it'll hit everything on the team for neutral damage. I think that's the way to go. So we have to actually stay in this time. But air slash still does 50% and it flinches them. So Charizard coming through. The harsh sunlight does fade though. So we lose that um, solar power, which is unfortunate. So let's go for another air slash anyway. Because we might get a flinch. You never know. So they withdraw the Skeledurge. They don't want to get flinched, which makes a lot of sense. And uh, we're going to go into Crimsonite, their own Scizor. That's a really cool name for a Scizor, I will say. Air Slash comes through. It's going to do a nice little bit of damage to the uh, Scizor. Not too much damage, but a little bit, you know. So now we're going to Donphan. We definitely go into Donphan here. There's no real reason not to go into Donphan. So we'll withdraw real quick like so. They more than likely go for a U-turn. But it's a bit risky going into Scizor against the Charizard. And they don't necessarily know that we're Scarfed. Um, unless they've seen the video already <laughs> with the team, so I don't know. They go for a knockoff though, which is going to obviously sting a little bit, but he does get some Rocky Helmet chip on the scissor, which is nice. So they knock off our Rocky Helmets, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them Stealth Rocks up, because they're going to be pretty useful for taking down that Skeledurge if they're not boots. And um, So I'm going to go for it, go for the Stealth Rock real quick. So they withdraw the scissor. Scissor is their potential defogger, so the fact that they've withdrawn it tells me it's probably not defog. So they're going to go into Skeledurge, which is fair enough. Yeah, they're just a good switch. We go for a Stealth Rocks, like so. And the great thing here is that they can't burn us with Will-O-Wisp. But they can Hex us, and Hex will hurt. But I don't think they would Hex. I think they're going to expect us to switch out, and they're going to go for a Slack Off. So I'm going to go for that EQ real quick. So they go for a Torch Song, which is going to sting. Doesn't get the KO, though, which is great. They're going to get a Special Attack Boost, and we go for an EQ, which should take out the Skeledurge from there. It does. So Skeledurge goes down, which is fantastic. Donphan putting in the absolute work there, um, which is always amazing. <laughs> I love Donphan. It's such a cool bug one. And we've still got enough HP to go for an Ice Shard against a potential Latios or a Flygon. So we may as well keep Donphan around. So in comes Free Spirit once again. That is going to be the Latios. We're going to let Latios KO us. I get some Stealth Frog Chip, which is nice. I am going to go for the Ice Shard. I'm not really bothered about the Toxic Spikes, really. And um, to be honest with you, I don't think it's worth going for a Rapid Spin. But Ice Shard comes through, does a nice little chip, bit of chip damage to the Latios. So they go for a Flip Turn. And now we get a free switch in on whatever they bring in later. So uh, let's see what they go into. In comes Flygon. Flygon's a pretty good switch. Um, I'm wondering what this Flygon wants to do. We broke potential Focus Sash, which is great. I'm leaning towards going for the Como, Terra Normal type thing. Or the Sizzle or the Azelf. I think the Azelf is a good one because it hurts pretty much everything on that team except from the Jirachi and the Scizor um, for super effective damage. So I think I might go into Azelf. Because here's the thing about Azelf, right? Azelf is in a pretty good situation where we can just go for a Dazzling Gleam if we want to. Um, or a Psychic. I'm leaning towards the Psychic, but I want to go for the Dazzling Gleam. I, I think I go for a Dazzling Gleam here. They do stay in. I figured they'd stay in. We go for a Dazzling Gleam. It's Choice Specs boosted. Azelf comes through. And Flygon does go down, which is fantastic. Go on, Azelf. Get in there. So in comes whatever that is, which is going to be what? The Jirachi. So Jirachi, they probably know we're Choice Specs by the damage we did to the Flygon with a non-stab Dazzling Gleam. Um, I'm going to go into Charizard here because they're, they're probably going to go for, for a U-turn or something along those lines. So let's just go into it. Like so, Charizard comes in. We do outspeed the Jirachi and the Latios we, because of the... Um, oh, they go for Cosmic Power. Ah, that's a bit more of a tricky one. So Charizard could save the day here. Let's go for a Fire Blast real quick. And um, we do outspeed, obviously, because of the Choice Scarf. And that still does a lot of damage, which is great. As they go for a Meteor Beam. Are they Power Herb Meteor Beam? That is epic if they are. They are. Char I didn't even know you actually got Meteor Beam. That's awesome. So Meteor Beam comes through. That's going to annihilate the Charizard real quick. But we did get some decent damage off with the Fire Blast. So that's always nice. And um, now what we can do is um, we could go into a Zelf again. And we can go for a Flamethrower. Or we can go into the uh, Scizor. Um, I'm leaning more towards the, the Zelf. So I am going to go into the Zelf real quick. There we go. N Nairu comes in. Nairu comes in. We go for a flamethrower because they probably stay in now that they've got their boost. So they, we go for a flamethrower and that's going to definitely take him out. There we go. So Jirachi goes down. So Azelf claiming two souls this game, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Azelf's a beast. <laughs> so in comes Crimsonite the Scizor, which is an interesting one. So they're probably going to Terra. 
by the way they brought it in against the flamethrower ring as elf um so if they're gonna terror we should switch out i'm, I'm gonna go into como i feel like como can pull this back for us i mean we're, we're winning anyway but um i I feel like if we're going to win, it's going to be Como doing the work. Then we withdraw our Azelf, and we're going to go into Como, who can definitely take on this Scissor, I'm hoping. Unless they go for a CC on the Switch, which might hurt a little bit. And we do get poisoned, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's no big deal. And they do, in fact, go for a U-turn, and they're going to go into the Latios, which is great. So, and um, with Latios in, we're going to have a bit of a tough time with Como, that's for sure. So in comes Free Spirit, the uh, Latios. We know it was a jack pack, so we know we're not dealing with a Soul Do. We know we're not dealing with Choice Specs or a Life Orb or anything like that. Which means that we can probably take a Draco Meteor if we Terra Normal. And go for a Clanging Scales. That's what I'm leaning towards. There's no point going for a Clanging Assault because we won't be able to take a Bullet Punch afterwards. Let's Terra, let's terra and go for a Clanging Scales. Let's, let's Terra and go for a Clanging Scales. Um, because it's definitely going to be working out for us. They do terrestrialize themselves into a Terra Fire, which is terrifying. Oh, wow. So why Terra Fire, though? I mean, it makes them neutral to the clanging scales, I guess. Um, but we Terra Normal, which uh, maybe they're expecting Terra Steel. They could be expecting Terra Steel, to be fair. They might be expecting Terra Steel. Um, so we bring Como in. We Terra Normal. They Terra Fire. Let's see how this plays out real quick. I'm really curious to see how they, how they do this. So they go for a Terra They were expecting the Terra Steel. Oof. We're Terra Normal, though. So we're going to take that like a champ. And I would not have taken a Draco Meteor right there. I would have not taken the Draco Meteor right there. But we do get the KO with the Gliding Scales, which is amazing. And down goes the Latios, which is fantastic. There we go. So now we've just got the Scizor to deal with. And I'm, I'm, I am Bulletproof, not... Soundproof. I'm bulletproof, but I don't know whether that works against bullet punch because bullet punch is, you know, it depends on the Japanese name for the move, not the English name. And I, I'm pretty sure bullet punch is just like fast punches or something like that. So I don't know whether it works or not. So we'll, I guess we'll find out um, as we go for a flamethrower here. Let's see if we, let's see if we, um, they go for the, see bullet punch works on bulletproof. See, I wasn't being dumb. I wasn't being dumb. So down goes Como, unfortunately. Did take out the Latios, which is amazing. But now, what's our option for Scizor? I'd say it's probably going to have to be Azelf. So we'll go Azelf. And Azelf is going to pick up a second, a third KL right now. And I think that makes Azelf prime for the thumbnail, right? So let's go for that Flamethrower real quick and take out that Scizor. If, if we can live a Bullet Punch, that is. They go for the BP, and as long as they're not banded, we should be all right. Yeah, they're not banded. We go for a flamethrower, take out that scissor, and that is going to be the game. So GG Soul, that was a pretty fun one. And I finally got a W. I've been on a bit of a losing streak recently. We finally got a W with this Charizard team. Charizard didn't get to do too much, but it did more than it's done in the last two games, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, GG Soul, that was a fun one. I enjoyed that. But anyway, this is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.